Hello guys, good morning and welcome back to the channel, Rodel's Kitchen. This morning guys, I would share with you my um, bakes or float bakes. Okay, so for the ingredients I would be using guys, and first of all, um, here in the bowl I've got some sugar, I've got some yeast, a pinch of salt, I've got some butter, and I've got my flour, okay? And I've got some warm water in the jug. Um, okay, so I'm going to go ahead. Now I'll show you what I'm going to do next, the next step. In the jug, guys, I've got some warm water. So I'm going to go in with some sugar. About a teaspoon of sugar. And I'm going to go in with my yeast. And give it a little stir. And I'm going to set my yeast aside for about 5 to 10 minutes. For it to proof up and rise up. Yeah, so my yeast can rise and then I'll come back. Okay, so I'm going to set this aside now. Okay. Okay, while I'm waiting for my yeast to rise up, I'm going to add my liquid salt. And give it a little mix with clean hands and I'm gonna add my butter and rub it into the flour like so I'm gonna add a little sugar because I like my bakes on the sweet side so I'm going to add a little bit of sugar, give it a little mix like that. And I'll come back and I'll take you guys to the next step. Okay guys, my yeast has risen up nicely so I'm going to go ahead now and I'm going to mix my dough okay I'm gonna add my yeast I'm gonna go on to mix my dough gonna carry on mixing guys and then come back okay guys when you finish uh, mixing your dough it should look like this you need a nice soft smooth dough look at that guys so I'm gonna go ahead and cover this with a damp paper towel and set this aside for about 25 to 30 minutes for it to rise up and then we'll come back and I'll take you through the next step guys my bake has risen up nicely beautifully so i'm gonna take it out of the bowl remove it from the bowl now Ooh. it's very sticky do sit down with some flour to help with the stickiness Need it for a bit to get out some of that air. Okay, 
Okay, I'm gonna roll it out into little dough balls, guys. It was really sticky of it after it risen up. I'm gonna roll it out into little dough balls like so. Place them on my board. on my board and I'm gonna carry on rolling out my making my little dough ball I'm gonna carry on guys and then we'll come back okay guys this is the amount of dough that I got guys okay show you guys so guys I'm gonna roll out my dough balls now and I'm gonna start the frying process I'm not, I'm not even going to roll them out I'll just press them down like this because my dough is so soft and so nice I have to put a lot of flour because um for dusting because of the um the softness of the dough so i'm gonna get ready now for frying guys so we'll go over to the cooker okay guys i've got my pan here with some oil so i'm gonna go in now and start frying my bakes all right on low heat And start frying my bakes. Look at that, guys! It's beautiful. Look at that. So I'm gonna remove this now from the pan, and I'm gonna go in with my other one. And look at how it's raising up beautifully, guys, and swelling up in the pan. Look at my bake, guys. So I'm going to flip it over now on the other side. Okay, guys. This is the finished product, guys, of my bake. Or float bake, guys. Um, guys, if you like my video, please like, share, and subscribe. Please give me a thumbs up. All the measurements and ingredients would be down in the description box, guys. If you're new to my channel, you're absolutely welcome. Please hit the subscription button and that little notification bell so you would be notified whenever I upload a video, guys. Thank you all so much for your support, guys. I appreciate it, guys. And please don't forget to like, share, and comment. Guys, today, me, myself, and my family would be having this. 
we would be enjoying this with some fried salt fish guys and i can assure you this is delicious okay so guys please don't forget to like share and comment and thank you once again and i'll see you in my next one thank you